Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. In this video, I'm going to be making the basic tools that I need to make an aluminum car body from scratch. So, I'm going to be modifying this Harbor Freight English wheel. I'm going to make this shrinking sump, sandbag, and metal mallet. Alright, so I got this English wheel here assembled now. This is from Harbor Freight. And first impressions are actually better than expected. I don't really have high expectations for anything from Harbor Freight, um, but this this seems like it will work. Um, one thing I was worried about is I've heard people getting these these wheels and they're not they don't actually spin true. Um, but I put an indicator on this. This one is within a thousandth of an inch. Same I assume same with the bottom. When you're looking at them, you can't see any wobble to it. So that's something that I'm very pleased about. A couple things though that I do have to modify is one, it was too short, so I can have it spaced up there on those I-beams about seven inches. I'm going to weld it to that and then probably bolt that to the floor. I'm also going to weld um, this right here because these bolts aren't enough to keep this whole frame from like rocking back and forth when you're pushing stuff through it. Um, the biggest issue though is this whole upper frame here, it just, it just doesn't have any rigidity to it. As soon as you stick any sheet metal in here, it just opens right up and like you can't you can't get enough pressure on there to actually control what you're doing so the way I'm gonna fix that is what some people do is they'll make some truss system here put like a spine on the back anything to make this stronger here um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna weld a pipe on the top of here to go up to that beam right there and I think that will take pretty much all the load um, this will just hold it in place and that should fix the flexing problem. So I'm going to get to that right now.
Alright, so I've got my tools pretty much made here. Um, the modifications I made to this English wheel is mainly I spaced it up 7 inches there with that I-beam so now it's at a much more usable height. And these two braces that I put in the top really help a lot um, because as I mentioned there's a lot of flex to this frame here. Um, so with that, this pole here kind of takes all the vertical load and then this one takes all like the horizontal load. Um, so now this, this upper wheel is very solid. Um, it, it really doesn't move at all. So now this is a, actually a pretty nice usable English wheel now. Um, very pleased with how that came out. I also made this shrinking stump here. I carved the dish into it here and the idea behind that is you can use that to kind of like um, pound flat sheets of metal into to kind of start start like a curve and then you can use the flat part to, to pound out the wrinkles that you make with that. Um, and the sandbag is the same type of deal. You can put your metal on here and then pound it into that you can make whatever impression you want into there and this gives enough support but also enough give that you can actually shape the metal with that. Um, I also made the mallet for that too. Um, I just kind of went off of pictures of other metal forming mallets that I saw. The head is made out of Ipe wood, I-P-E. Um, it's one of the hardest woods in the world. Um, it's, it's very dense, it has a tight grain so that should work as a really nice mallet there. It has some nice weight to it. So what I have now is um, this mostly round piece of aluminum here. Um, it's like powder coated or something, that's why it's white. Um, but I got this flat piece of aluminum, and what I'm going to try to do now is just kind of make this into a nice little dome. Alright, so before too much time there, you can see I got a nice kind of domed shape out of this once flat piece of aluminum. Alright, so now that I have pretty much all my tools in place, um, I'm going to be ready pretty soon to start making the actual um, panels for this. Unfortunately, this Harbor Freight English wheel only comes with one of these lower anvils. And this, this one has too high of a crown um, to really do much with. Um, I want to make this hood. This is one of the first like curved pieces I want to make and this has like a very gentle curve to it. So I need a, a lower wheel with like a, a, a large radius to it for that. So that one's not really going to work. Over here I do have the aluminum. As you can see I made a little window right here just because I, I couldn't wait to look at it. Um, I have five four foot by eight foot sheets of that and it's, it's 63 thousandths thick I believe. Um, so that should be more than enough to get started with. Um, in the meantime, I can start making some of the flat panels, like the sides of the hood there. Um, that'll be a separate video. This was just kind of um, making all the tools and, and showing you what I'm going to be working with. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.